Hello all my cool cats and kittens, welcome back, happy May, this is going to be a great, great week. So we are getting ready to finish our book, Hold. We are starting on page 38, below in the, uh, below in the description, you can find the PDF of this book, so you can read it on your own. So if you're able to read it on your own, go ahead and exit out of here, go ahead and open the book, and you can start reading chat or page 38 all the way down to the end 38 all the way down to the end if not you can stick around with me and we will read it together so everybody take a look at my screen here right here you can see this little samurai sword if i bring it up here you can kind of see i have a ninja turtle as well but just the sword for the story so be watching this as we read along so we are coming back to the story remember we talked about uh, kissing Kate Barlow. We talked about how she used to rob people because they killed her friend Sam. And it was a very, very hard time for Kit, kissing Kate Barlow. But now we're coming back to Stanley and the boys here at Green Lake Camp. So Green Lake Camp for bad boys. Remember, we're back here for the camp for all the bad boys go. Here we have a picture of, well, it looks like Sam. But we're going to keep moving down. All right, X-Ray is the leader of the boys in the camp. X-Ray is a tough kid. So X-Ray is very, very tough. He is also the leader of the kids at the camp. Remember, we saw this picture in our last reading. This is what the ground looks like when the lake dried up. All of this land here used to have water on top of it in a lake. But now it is very dry and it's very cracked and it's very hard to be able to dig through. Stanley has trouble digging holes. The weather is very hot and the dirt is hard and dry. How would you feel if you had to dig holes on a very hot day on very hot, hard ground? That would be very difficult to do. Next, we see this picture here. This is a picture of lipstick. It's a lipstick tube. I see it because I see the cap right here and I see the lipstick on top, but it has two letters on it. Look at these. K-B. K-B. Who could have the initials K-B? One day, Stanley finds a lipstick tube that has K-B on it. X-Ray took the lipstick tube from Stanley. X-Ray gave the lipstick tube to the warden. Warden, Mr. Sir, and Dr. Pendansky are happy to see the lipstick tube. They knew the buried money was near. So they're looking for somebody's money, the buried money. Maybe it's the buried money of Kate Barlow. Stanley knows that warden's grandfather was Charles Walker, the person who was looking for the treasure. Stanley wonders if Kissing Kate lived near here. Kissing, Kissing Kate Barlow, yes. So the lipstick that they found must belong to Kissing Kate Barlow. Stanley and Zero become friends while digging holes. Mr. Sir and Dr. Pendansky think that Zero is dumb. Zero never learned to read. It's really sad that they think that Zero is dumb because he never learned to read, when in fact, Zero is a very, very, very smart kid and is very good at digging holes. Zero's name is Hector Zeroni. Hector Zeroni with a Z. Zero is the great, 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 great grandson of Madame Zeroni. Hmm, where have we seen Madame Zeroni before? Stanley teaches Zero to read, and Zero helps Stanley to dig his holes. So Stanley is uh, such a good friend to Zero that he's teaching him how to read. And Zero is being a good friend back and, and helping Stanley dig his holes. But there's a problem with that. Let's keep reading. The other boys get mad that Stanley has helped to dig. All these boys have to dig by themselves. 
How would you feel if someone or if you saw someone getting help when you weren't getting help? How would you feel? The boys start a fight and Zero runs away from camp. Stanley worries about Zero being alone. Let's take a picture. Let's take a look at this picture. Looks like we have a big, big truck. Has a lot of big trees on it. But I wonder what that has to do with our story. Stanley steals the truck from Mr. Er, the truck from Mr. Sir. Stanley drove the truck into a hole. Stanley runs away to find Zero. So Stanley was going to take a truck to go find his friend Zero, but he crashes it into a hole. Uh oh! Please do not take anybody's trucks. Now he's not. Now he runs away to go find his friend Zero. When he finds Zero, well, Zero is very weak, and Stanley helps Zero by carrying him to the top of the mountain. The mountain is Sam's old onion field. Remember Sam? We just saw a picture of him earlier. Sam's onion field was on top of this mountain. Stanley and Zero eat the onions for one week. Whew! Think about that, guys. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. Seven days of eating onions. Could you eat onions for seven days? I know I sure couldn't. Let me know in the comments if you think you could eat onions for a whole week. Let's take a look at this. It says Stanley Yelnats here on the side, but it's a briefcase or a suitcase. Why would Stanley have a suitcase with his name on it? Stanley and Zero return to camp to look for Kate Barlow's treasure. Stanley and Zero find a suitcase with Stanley Yelnat's name on it. The warden tries to take the suitcase from Stanley and Zero. Whoops, sorry guys. If we look at this picture here, this picture is of a woman who's driving a car. She is also talking on a cell phone. Now this is their cell phone here, but this is what we call a Bluetooth device. This is what people used to have before iPhones. But they used to have this so they could talk while they were driving their car. Stanley's lawyer has come to get out of camp, or has come to get Stanley out of camp. Stanley and Zero get to leave the camp with the suitcase. Well, it has Stanley's name on it. I think that's fair that he gets to leave with a suitcase with his name on it. Oh my. Oh, look at that, guys. Inside the suitcase, it looks like there is some money. Lots of money, to be exact. Let's take a look to see what happens with all this money. The suitcase has the buried money that Kate Barlow took from Stanley's great-great-grandfather, Stanley Yelnats. So, Stanley's great-great-grandfather had the, sta the same name, Stanley Yelnats. When Stanley carried Zero up the mountain, he ended the family curse. So he ended up helping out his family by carrying Zero up the mountain. He ended the family curse. The Green Lake Camp for Bad Boys was closed. And Stanley's bad luck was now good luck. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. It is one of my absolute favorites from when I was uh, a kid and got to read it in school. After you guys get done reading, you guys can watch this video again. You can go back through the PDF and look at it uh, and read it as many times as you need to before you take your quiz and your final. So be looking out for those after you guys read. Nice job. I'm so proud of this group. I cannot wait to read more books with you when we get back. You guys have a great, great, great week, and I will catch up with you when I see you. Bye.